In this video, I'm going to be going in depth of Icon the Seas. Everything that we've been told, I'm going to be looking at all the photos, the videos, and I'm going to be going through it all to see what there is on board this cruise ship. And it looks absolutely amazing, so make sure you watch to the end. So today, Royal Caribbean finally announced Icon of the Seas after years and months of waiting and it was worth the wait. This ship looks absolutely amazing. What Congratulations to Royal Caribbean. You smashed out of the park, well, from all the pictures. Uh, so I knew Royal Caribbean would. I, I do got my Royal Caribbean jacket on today because oh. uh, it's an amazing day. I have some of the stats here. I've got lots of videos and I'm gonna go through it all and I cannot wait because I'm just so excited for this ship. And it will be debuting in 2024. So it's not 2023 like we thought. So it is being coming out a bit later, but I think it is worth the wait. So just look at this ship. Like it's absolutely amazing. It is going to be the world's largest cruise ship at 250,000 tons. So it's 20,000 tons bigger than Wands of the Seas. <laughs> I thought that ship was huge. Oh my God. It has eight neighborhoods. So it does match Wonder of the Seas. Obviously this is a new class. So the eight neighbourhoods are the Aquadome, Central Park, Chill Island, Royal Promenade, Surfside, Sweet Neighbourhood, The Hideaway and Thrill Island. We're going to go through all eight neighbourhoods, look at all the pictures and I can't, you can probably tell by the voice I'm very excited to share. You've probably already seen it but I'm very looking forward to um, talking to you through it and talking from a, not an official as a cruise fan person. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. And the first neighbourhood we're going to start off with is Thrill Island. Now this neighbourhood looks absolutely amazing. Like the six water slides, the category six, the slides look amazing. We're going to go through each one of these slides and every single one is a record breaker at sea. So let's get into it. We have Frightening Bolt, the tallest drop slide at sea, where G-Force will take over and fling you into a 360. That sounds amazing. Storm Chaser, the first Gerald Matt racing slide at sea. So you can race your friends and family down the slide to see who can get the fastest time. So that's going to be amazing. Hurricane Hunter, the first family raft slide at sea. So you can grab your whole family and you can go down the water slide and it looks huge. This is generally looks like a massive, like huge water park. Then we have a Storm Surge. First suspended family raft slide at sea. Now if you look at this video, it looks like the raft as it goes up, the thing that hangs over the side of the ship is glass. So you're hanging over the side of the ship and you get to see straight out of the ocean. Now that is amazing. And then pressure drop, the first open free fall slide at sea. Again, it's basically a 66 degree drop straight down into some water. That looks absolutely amazing. These water slides, every single one, all six of them, is a record breaker at sea. Also in Thrill Island, you have the mini golf, you have the sports court, and also the big crown anchors on the side of the ship. They are also a ropes course. And it will be, you do a little ropes course, and as you're going round to the thing, the crown anchor on the other side, hanging over the side of the ship, you go onto a platform that will drop beneath you and you will basically zip line back to safety. Like the adrenaline rush and the like, that sounds amazing. And you're hanging over the side of the ship. I cannot wait to try that. There's also returning favourites like the Flow Rider, which is on most of Royal Caribbean ships right now. And but it's turned around, which I did say in the video, so you can get better views while we're taking, well, so you get a picture taken of you and it's the ocean ship now. So they keep all that into thought. So yeah, that's a good that the Flow Rider is returning. So Thrill Island looks absolutely amazing. And this would be the place I spend the most on board, probably if I go on Icon of the Seas. So I'm very excited to see how this actually looks when it's fully built. The next neighborhood we're gonna look at is Chill Island. This has four swimming pools and it spans over three decks. And the pools include Royal Bay, which is the largest swimming pool at sea with over 40 gallons of water. Cove Pool, which is an oceanfront infinity pool, so you get amazing views of the ocean. Cloud 17, which is the outdoor only pool deck, exclusively 
to 16s and plus, so it's basically the replacement of the solarium. Swim and tonic, a swim up bar and pool. So this is the largest swim up bar at sea. So you can have your drinks while relaxing in the pool. So they have covered all bases here. I really like the idea of having, this is the largest ship in the world, so it has the largest pool because you go on ships and they just don't have the right size of swimming pools, Virgin Voyages for example. Uh, so to have the largest pool on the largest ship in the world makes complete sense. To have the swim up bar, the one that hangs over the side of the ship, and there'll be, there'll be loads of hot tubs dotted around the place as well. I think this is a really cool area of the ship. It also has like eateries around, so there was, I think I looked at Deadpan last night, it was like our local fresh was there as well, so Windjammer is not too far away, so you're going to have some food, drink and some chill time. Now we're going to talk about the brand new area, the Aquadome. This is a brand new neighbourhood as well. It basically has an aqua theatre in it, so that's where the, the aqua shows will be. But they also want to use it so it's not just an uh, evening venue. So throughout the day you get amazing views of the front of the ship. There's a bar in there, restaurants, hook seafoods near there. So you will use that space throughout the whole cruise, not just to watch the aqua show. They also have that amazing waterfall that is going to be in the shows as well, which I'm really interested to find more about. But the dome does really look spectacular with all the glass. You've seen it being built in Finland at the moment. It looks really amazing. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the show they do in there because the one on Wonder was absolutely incredible. So I'm hoping for the same sort of quality. I know it will be. So. Yeah, this will be a good multi-use area, especially it's indoors as well, so no matter what the weather, because on Oasis, our last, on our, on our Wonder the Seas Cruise, our show had to be cancelled because of weather, so it being inside, I think that's a really good idea. Let's move down to Deck 7, Surfside. This is a brand new neighbourhood and it's family orientated. It has a carousel, arcade, sweet shops. It has the Splash Away Bay, a swimming pool right to the edge, right at the back, so you get to see a beautiful view of the wake. Now this area is amazing, so colourful, it replaces, I keep referring to the Oasis class because it is based on that, this is just a massive upgrade. It's where the boardwalk was, but now it's all just family orientated. So it looks absolutely all colourful, the carousels stay in, the sweet shop is basically where it is. And but just the aqua theatres move into the front of the ship. So this is an area where families can spend all day together, and there is like an like an adult kind of ish pool where they can relax. And then right behind them is the Splash Away Bay, so they can watch them while relaxing in the pool and have an amazing view of the wake. So I think this is a really cool area that Royal Caribbean have designed. It also has access to one of the biggest rooms I've seen at sea. It's a three-story um, playhouse thing. It's an uh, exclusive room, there's only one on there, and it has its own backyard, access to the new neighbourhood, and it's three storeys, a three storey room, if you can ever go on that, uh, it's going to be amazing, it has slides, it has like table tennis, it looks amazing. It's basically a really big upgrade to the Ultimate Family Suite, so it, this area looks really cool, colourful and family friendly. The next neighbourhood we're going to explore is the Hideaway. This has another swimming pool here as well. Yes, another swimming pool. And it's the first suspended swimming pool at sea. 65 feet in the air. It also has its own DJ booth there. So it is a really like beach club vibes. It has lots of sunbeds. And it's located on deck 15. And you have amazing uninterrupted views of the sunset and sunrise. So this would be an amazing spot to get some really cool Instagrammable photos. So this, again, an amazing neighbourhood, especially with that pool that hangs over Surfside. Really cool area by Royal Caribbean. We move on to the Royal Promenade neighbourhood. This neighbourhood is now reimagined. They've rethought the Royal Promenade and they now have the pole. Look at that. At the moment it just looks like a staircase to me, but obviously we'll be doing something and we will find that out later on. Sorrento's is there shopping, the English pub it looks like it's there as well. 
So all of the originals are coming back, Schooner Bar as well, all the favourites. And there's a Pearl Cafe as well. So I'm really looking forward to see what they also have in store for this reimagined really Royal Promenade. Now we're going to move on to one of my favourite neighbourhoods, Central Park. This Central Park will have 20% more trees than the other Central Parks on the Oasis class. It will have Chops Grill, Izumi, lots of restaurants. And it also has a dry slide, it looks like, by the deck plan. I haven't seen any pictures of that today, or like a photo of it, but on the deck plan there's an entrance and exit, and it's around Central Park, so don't hold me to that, but I think there's more to be announced about Icon Overseas uh, than what we just saw today, so I'm very looking forward to seeing what it will look like when it's built. And the last neighbourhood to cover is the Sweet Neighbourhood. This is an improvement of what they've tr basically trialled on Wonder of the Seas, which was to have an exclusive area. And this is a lot bigger with a three story suite area. It has a two story pool deck, two exclusive restaurants, and a bar. The pool deck looks really cool with the, its own actual pool and a hot tub and lots of sunbeds and seating around. It also has a two story costal kitchen, which you also have views of the aqua shell. So maybe they might, you could reserve a table and watch the show at the same time. That would be really cool if you could do that as a sweet guest. So this looks a lot better and improved to what was on Wonder of the Seas. So those are the eight neighborhoods on board Icon of the Seas. Put in the comments below what your favorite one is. Mine's got to be Thrill Island. The water slides, the mini golf, it, it just all looks amazing. Especially the crown anchor uh, tightrope thing where the plank goes above you and you zip line across. I can't wait. I'm going to have the GoPro. It's all going to be on here. A GoPro, well, I'm going to ask if I have a GoPro. Uh, and I'm going to film it. That would be amazing. Uh, so that's going to be my favourite one by far. I was looking at the deck plan last night. And there's lots of returning favourites. There's Playmakers About, Azumi, El Loco Fresh, Park Cafe. They better have those beef sandwiches when they go on board. Charentos, Schooner Bowl, obviously. That's on every single World Caribbean ship. Spotlight Karaoke is also returning, so there's lots of Royal Caribbean favourites coming back and hopefully there's a lot more new. Like I said, if you notice throughout the segments, Royal Caribbean have really focused on the Thrill Island and a few of the other ones, there's not as much footage, hence why I started with Thrill Island and then they do get a bit shorter, but that's just because of the footage I've got and what they've actually announced, because the pro promenade is only really the Pearl and there wasn't they haven't really said much more about it so I'm really forward to seeing what they're reimagining what they're bringing new because looking at the tech plan I, I don't think I saw a new restaurant uh, but I'm sure that, that they're, kind of, they're coming up with something because they can't release a new ship and not have a new restaurant um, I don't think Hook Seafood is also returning still didn't get to try that on Wonder I need to do my Wonder review because there was a problem with that uh, so I, I cannot wait. The bookings open if you're watching this, um, like as it's been released. Bookings open on Tuesday, the 25th of October. So make sure you're ready with your deposits um, to book on Icon Overseas. Originally, it was supposed to debut in October slash November from Southampton. That has not gone ahead, and it will debut from Miami in Florida. So, me in the UK, I'm crying right now. Cheers, Rock Caribbean. Got my hopes up. I saw this interview how many months ago. Oh, don't worry, we're going to bring it to Southampton. Oh, actually, that was just... It's, it's due to it being the first in the class, and they have to do more testing than if it was the second one. So, Michael Bailey, if you're watching, to say sorry when the second one, you don't have to do all that testing, you can bring it to the UK. You never know. If you don't ask, you don't get it, hey? Uh, so, every disappointed, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping I can book it and I can go out to Miami and try it. Because it really does look amazing. Uh, especially those water slides. I can't go over the water slides. I want to do every single one. I want a GoPro as well so I can give it to you guys so you guys can see it. Uh, so I'm just waffling on now. But this ship looks amazing. I can't wait for what Royal Caribbean has to announce over the next few months. Because this is only a this is quite a lot we got today, but again, it's only a snippet because we saw all the shows, because it's a theatre. The new ice skating rink as well. I actually didn't actually mention that. Might as well mention it now. 
There's a brand new, the biggest ice skating rink out on the Rock Island fleet. In a circle this time. I put the video, the photo here. It's like a circle. It's not square or rectangle. Rectangle. Uh, so that's really interesting. Uh, so the Aqua Theatre is now inside at the front of the ship. This ice skating rink looks at the back of the ship. Uh, there's a normal theatre, so there's so much more to be announced. And Royal Caribbean, the guy that does all the choreographing and making the shows, he keeps hinting about those robots. If, if you've seen the Aqua Theatre when it's actually a movie, there's like these two robot things moving around. So we'll figure out what those are as well. So there's so much more to announce, so make sure you stay tuned to this channel because I will bring in you all the news as it comes over the next few months. The last year, basically, because it doesn't debut till it says 2024, but it looks like it's cruising in 2023, but I, I don't think those are for sale for people. Uh, so it looks tw 20, January 28th, 2024 looks like the inaugural cruise of Icon. All the people can pay for it, inaugural cruise, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, the first, oh, what's the, with the money? The first payable one, whatever. The, um, so yes, hopefully I will be out there at some point to try this amazing ship. Well done to Royal Caribbean, it looks amazing and I cannot wait to try it. Like I said, stay tuned for all the news so make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you like this video and I'm also on Instagram and TikTok so link is in the description below to go and follow those. Loads of pictures have been put up about Icon on my Instagram at the moment so make sure to go and follow that one. Thank you for watching, it's been Shipface. And I will see you guys in the next video.